Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and we are doing the pink peony for the 21st of June. This is from the Paint Gem mini set, the flower version. Oh, just dropped a bin. Okay, pick that up. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Zesty Tray in grey today, along with our limited edition pen for June, which I've added a straightener and a metal tip into. Uh, I have had a look at this image on the website, and I think I'm actually going to do the white in ABs. Looking at the picture on the website, the white is what sort of pops out a little bit. And I think that will work out as the best one. But first off, I'm going to start with the green, which is the colours in the bottom. Well, bottom and top, actually, on this one. But I'm going to start with the greens. And yeah, I hope everybody is doing good today. Uh, Hubby and I had a lovely time at Centre Parks, so thank you to all those well wishers, um, uh, people that wished us a nice breakaway. We had a lovely break and it's taken me a little bit to get back into the swing of things. I feel like I'm, I'm dragging myself to move, but I guess that's what happens when you take a couple of days fully off from pretty much everything. I have been and liked, you know, the June Waffle entries on Facebook, but that's more been when we've, you know, been sat down having a little bit of chill time. I've done that rather than needing to do work at any particular point. So it's taken me a little bit to drag myself up um, to start doing today's video. And yeah, it's halfway through the day already on the Monday. Um, so we did have the stay until Monday. But we knew that Monday morning we were going to get up, or this morning as I'm filming this, we were going to get up and pretty much pack up and drive back. And we actually decided on the Sunday night, what is the point in dealing with all the madness of everybody potentially leaving on the Monday morning or those that are, you know, are due to vacate on that day, leaving at that time and join the madness of that? Why don't we just go home the evening before and then be able to have more of a leisurely morning? before I'm back at work uh, or the real job on the full-time job on Tuesday. Uh, so that's what we did. We drove back late on last night. I think we got home about half nine, quarter to ten, something like that by the time we got home. So we still had our pretty much full day Sunday um, and got to enjoy ourselves. And yeah, we, we are glad that we did this morning. The fact that we, you know, got up and we didn't have to then have a good few hours of travelling back and trying to get into, you know, back into the home life, work life mode. We're already there. But it has taken me a little bit to drag myself to film today, partly because it's warm and partly because I've had a couple of days off. So a mixture of those two. It's taken me a little bit to get going. But yeah, I hope everybody is feeling well and refreshed after their weekend, whether it's a short one or a long one or a normal one. I hope you've all had a good one. Okay, comments and questions, which a lot of these are before we announced we were going away. Um, but there has been lots of comments on us enjoying our trip. So thank you to all of you that have left those. We had an amazing time. 
absolutely loved it um so all things crafty by kaz she said her little bounty that she ordered on friday uh she said it arrived um a few days ago so it arrived on the 14th uh she said she thanks us and she applauds you for what you bring to the diamond cake painting community oh thank you i'm glad it's all reached you safely uh, the UK does tend to get theirs a little bit quicker just because it's being posted within the country but I love seeing everybody start posting when theirs arrives it's always good uh, Beverly she says she loves um, that I talk about my family and our puppy she says she they have two English bulldogs and a french bulldog she said her second english english bully has really tried our patience <laughs> she said he's three and a half years old and as a puppy he chewed her windowsills oh all of her patio furniture and several wooden deck boards ouch some of those aren't cheap slash easy to fix either uh, she said, thankfully, he grew out of it and other, and the others were not, not such aggressive chewers. Um, she also thinks the daisies are the favourite painting that I've done. Thank you. Um, yeah, she's not quite got to, well, we've not had any instances yet where she's chewed something that is not fixable she very much likes material she very much like much likes the cushion covers seems to be her one favorite thing she has had moments attacking the couch though that seems to have calmed down uh, and she's moved on to the cushions which I suppose are at least easier to replace than the couch itself definitely cheaper to replace than the full couch so I suppose I will I will take the little things, the little wins, um, and roll with them. In that I can always get new cushion covers when she eventually grows out of it. Okay, all my dark green is done. So let's go to S, which is the next darkest one. Um, I did take my cross stitch with me. I did get a little bit of the back stitch done. So I have sort of got my head around the back stitch. It is going to be a journey, the back stitch for sure. There is a lot of back stitch in a lot of different colours. So having started it is a great thing. I am going to try and do a little bit each day or at least try and do a little bit each day it's going to take me more than June to do it and definitely more than you know the amount of time we have left in June to get it done but if I keep doing a bit a day I am sure that I will hopefully get it done by Christmas which would be good. Uh, so I did a few bits while we were there, but then I realised I had forgotten to bring a pen or a pencil and I was working on a paper chart. So I was able to do some of the back stitch that was quite easy and simple to see, some of the more simple back stitch pieces. But then there is a lot of back stitch on the actual Christmas tree of the design itself. And if I, if I can't mark each bit of that off, I think I'm going to get very lost on the pattern very quickly. Um, so that's, I, I did a bit. I didn't have loads of time anyway. We were out doing things. So I did a couple of little bits. I also did a small section of, of my diamond painting that I took along as well. Uh, but that was just sort of our 
have a little bit of relaxed time on Sunday before we then decided to head home anyway. So not bad, considering we got there at about 10 o'clock at night on the Friday, uh, we had a nice good couple of days, managed to fit quite a bit in um, with seeing the falconry and painting a pot and a spa visit or two and some gorgeous meals out. We also went out for a few meals rather than cooking. And yeah, overall, it was a really, really nice day and we would love to go back at some point. That was a bit of a, a little sidestep on the waffle, wasn't it? From talking about the dog. Um, Kimberly, she says she finished uh, Mr. Zesty Wolf today. Uh, she said she she says what fun he was to work on. She's kitting up her museum edition mini paintings now. She says she's putting a square of dryer sheet in the bag and letting them sit overnight. She said took care of the static and it's kitting up with no problem. I was sure I'd read somewhere that somebody just did it overnight and it worked fine. I didn't get to kit any of my mini ones up before going away. Um, so I will be kitting them up at some point. There's just no particular deadline now. So I will kit them up whenever I get a spare minute. I now have my, I still have my flamingo diamond painting and my cross stitch to do. So I'm not in a rush to kit them up, but I'm also happy for them to be kitted up at any time and they can be there ready for me to do when I'm in the mood for doing another small one. So that video will come in July at some point. It will depend on when I'm in the mood to get up a project. Um, she said she's gonna let the app decide which painting that she does. She says, but if I work on a museum edition, uh, she will work on the same painting. Uh, she said, hope it all is well in your corner of the world and happy anniversary to us both. Thank you, Kimberly. Uh, Judy, she says, hi. She says she was wondering where I get the paper to cover the glued area. Uh, so the cover paper that I use to cover any sticky areas if I need to cover them up or section them off is actually from our shop. So admorzest.com, which is detailed in this bottom corner down here, um, and it's undercover paper. So yeah, it's from our shop. And I use it for pretty much any painting bar these mini ones, or maybe a special diamond painting that I tend to do in one sitting, especially if it's a partial. I don't tend to use them for those, but I use them for every other type of painting. Uh, Diana, she says she loves the sunflower uh, with the ABs. Thank you. I'm really happy with how the ABs have turned out. And I'm hoping that my white ones on this, I know it, I could potentially try and throw some pink in, but looking at this peony completed on the paint gem website the white i think will be the nicest effect for the ab's so i'm going to go with doing the white uh, sherry she says another brilliant waffle she said she has just had her second surgery on her broken wrist to remove the metal supports Ooch. Uh, so all she can do is watch diamond painting for a few days. She says you're top of the list. Oh, thank you. Well, at least you've got some longer videos, I suppose, this time to be able to watch. Uh, maybe you can still, maybe one finger type yourself a list of notes and things that you want to do kit-wise once you're back up and running. 
um, or maybe just if you if you've got use of your other hand maybe spend some time familiarizing yourself with the stash that you do have spend some time having another quick look through diamond paintings that you've got and deciding which is which is the you know the next one that you want to do or one that you've maybe had for a while and forgotten about or forgotten how pretty it is maybe and have a look and see if you know you can get yourself a little something diamond painted related just do some little organization or refamiliarity uh, re yeah i don't even know if that's a word uh, familiarize yourself with your own stash and your own supplies could be cheaper than shopping anyway uh, ellen blissful designs says they think that the ab's just in the big sunflower looks perfect um said they may have looked nice in the open smaller one as well if you had enough but they do think that they would have looked odd in the closed sunflower i agree i don't think even if i'd had enough i don't think i would have gone to the closed sunflower i may have done the open but it also may have detracted from the big one so i think that i would have ummed and awed over that one for a while. Oh, this peony is pretty though. Um, Christine says happy anniversary to Rebecca and hubby. Uh, she finished her owl painting last week. So she is now kitted up and began a Randall Spandler's Eldar's Secret. Uh, she doesn't think she'll finish it by the end of June. That wouldn't surprise me. They're big paintings, those. Um, but she thinks it will be enjoyable. It is a 40 by 60. Uh, and they have a five-year-old border collie. Uh, they've bought for toys from Aldi's. Oh, we do have an Aldi near us. In fact, we knit there quite often. It's where I pick up my coffee from so maybe i'll have to have a look at what they've got uh she said she's on her last toy now a last aldi toy now so she's looking forward to aldi having another special buys because they're strong and durable i will keep an eye out then on the website keep an eye out for another for an aldi event that's coming up because even though it is around the corner from us, it's not somewhere, somewhere that we go, you know, particularly every week or every X number of days. So I'll keep an eye on the website if it tends to be an event where I'll be able to get dog toys from. Um, she's got, we found, she loves, she absolutely loves and always has done. Uh, empty plastic water bottles it was actually something that um, the home she came from they you know they recommended as sort of a play toy for them because of the noise it makes especially against the wooden floor and you know how much enjoyment they can get from knocking it and biting on it and stuff now, as she's got older, um, we find that she destroys your standard water bottle within minutes. You know, she loves to chomp down on it with her teeth. And within minutes, it was getting to the point where you could see there was potential for her to pull bits of plastic away. So we'd have to take it off her. So she'd get a couple of minutes of fun and then she'd have the fun taken away. Well, the other day we gave her a bottle from a smoothie. I think it might have, might have even been the Innocent brand smoothie. Oh, they are so much thicker and better. It's actually lasted her a few days now and it's not showing any signs of breaking apart yet. It's still keeping her entertained. 
Uh, she's actually got a couple of them floating about now. But yeah, she loves she loves a water bottle or an empty bottle just to chomp and the noise when it hits the wooden floor and scoops off. She loves to chase after it. So that's that's another toy that at least she's able to keep hold of for a little bit longer now until it hits the point where it starts breaking apart and then we'll take it off her. Uh, Nicola says she loves the sunflower with the ABs. And Susan said another great waffle done and dusted. She said her new favourite thing to say. I love saying done and dusted. It's like sorted, finished. Uh, she says she absolutely loves sunflowers. So this one was fun. Uh, she doesn't think she's ever seen a sunflower bud though. Uh, she says they're really taking license with their rendering of these flowers. She says, however, the paintings are coming out great, so it doesn't matter. Uh, she says, thank you for sharing. Yeah, I think there's got to be a mount, a, a, a little bit of amount of an amount, amount of... Uh, you know, artist license type thing with the rendering, especially because they're so small and to try and give the images, you know, a little bit of difference between each one. So yeah, I think there's some things that aren't necessarily true to form, but they still look good. I think that's all the F done. Now, before I move on to, I wondered whether to move on to G because I've got the pot out, but I think I'm still gonna go up by a bit. So I'm gonna go for the AB. So let me find the white AB. Because I have popped them away on the book ring. So let's do some white. And I'm probably tipping out far too many again, but at least it's it's not too many to go back in the pot. Uh, Sue, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she loves the way the daisy has turned out today. Uh, so this is a comment. All the comments I read in order of them being placed. So sometimes people are commenting on videos from a few days before due to you know their time schedules or whatever so uh, she says she loves the way the daisies came out today she said she must say she will be a bit sad when i have finished my june kits as she really looks forward to seeing what i have to show each day um, she says have a great day and she looks forward to seeing what you are doing tomorrow Happy dotting, and thank you so much for sharing with us. Uh, you are more than welcome. I am loving doing them. I think I have 32 paintings, uh, because the partial kits come with 12. I actually have 32 paintings to do over 30 days. Now, I don't think I'm gonna do two in one day in June just because getting in a video a day sort of can take a bit, can take quite a bit of time, um, especially if I have, you know, events like our weekend away where I need to make sure that I'm filming a few in advance. Um, to double up the length of a couple of videos might be a bit too much, especially because I want to try and get, try and get, I've managed to do two so far. <laughs> Try and get some videos done for July so that I've still got videos going up, but I can, um, you know, not, not have to do a video a day, I suppose. Not have to actually film a video a day, but still have a video a day go up in July because I want to get some of those filmed ready. That's actually got 
Ooh, it did have a little bit sticking out of the side of the diamond, but as I went to pull it away off the mat, it actually came off. Um, yeah, but I might do them in, I might do the Sunday Whip and Chat with the last couple of mini paintings maybe, so that they do all get done, just not necessarily all in June. Right, the letter I is my next one, even if it's not the next in shading. But it'll leave me some nice, it'll leave the G in nice little gaps for me to fill in. So hopefully I can make some diamonds click. Uh, Nelly, she says, um, Hi Rebecca, she said the crazy cats painting that she's doing is the one that looks like talking cats. Uh, thank you, she says love your videos. I know the one you're on about then Nelly. Um, I, I have seen um, the picture of the ones that look like talking cats and stuff a few times. Well I hope you are still enjoying it. Uh, Nadia, she says, old country girl here. Uh, she suggests either cow's hooves or pig's ears, she said, for Luna. Uh, you can usually find them in the pet food slash treat aisle. Uh, she's yet to know of a dog that didn't love both. Uh, just adjust to the one that suits her size slash chew level. Mm. I think we need to venture out of the puppy aisle in our pet shop because that's where we tend to just go. The puppy aisle and that's it. And Megan and I went to pick up um, some more of her food the other day and we were looking at, you know, treats to see if we could just find some different ones to mix it up. And we ended up realising that there was a whole batch of them that she could still have as a puppy. Uh, just because they didn't have puppy on the front of them, she could still have them because she was over three months. We went a little bit crazy. Uh, so she's got loads of mixed up puppy treats in her, in her jar that she gets every now and then. Uh, she's also been enjoying the chew dentist stick thing. She takes it off. She takes she takes it nicely when she's loud one and disappears off. Uh, but she only gets one of them every few days. Don't want to upset her Tom too much. Uh, Nancy, she says, thanks, Rebecca. She says, another great waffle. Uh, she's using her navy tray for the June waffle. Uh, and she thinks it's great. She says, happy anniversary uh, to Will and I. Uh, hope you have a great weekend away when you get to it. So you can tell I'm, I'm behind on the comments. <laughs> we did have a great weekend away. Uh, she says she's always looking, also looking forward to our plans for the December advent. She said it will be her first one. Uh, she had thought about the mini paintings. Uh, she said she's not sure if Paint Gem look for ideas for minis, uh, but a Christmas set would be pretty cool. She says, see you tomorrow. I will mention that to um, my contact at Paint Gem in case they are planning on bringing out some more mini sets. I can imagine they will because they have been extremely popular. Um, so providing, you know, they've, they've got the designers to be able to do them. I'm sure they will be open or open to ideas of different ones to do. <coughs> so I'll mention um, a Christmas set. We do have plans for Christmas, um, which will be revealed in due course. Um, 
but yeah it will give people options and I think little mini Christmas ones that you can pop around you know pull out as part of your Christmas decorations would be nice I think there could be some really fun ones that they could potentially do um, Nancy also says she says it's me again <laughs> she says she really wanted to say that she likes the ABs in the sunflower she thinks it looks great um, also she agrees that the open tulip is not how we typically see or think of them and it's likely what feels a little bit off with the picture uh, the colour choices for tulips are great though. Uh, it's a nice picture, just not necessarily what we think of when we think of tulips. Yeah, and I, I guess it, it's something that there's probably somebody or maybe even the designer of it that does think of tulips in that way. And it can just be different people's views because tulips do open up, they just don't open up for long. Uh, they tend to be a flower that's appreciated in effect in its bud form. Uh, Lynn loves diamond painting. Uh, she said, this is a message to Kathy. She says, are you waiting for a diamond painting from any company that you've paid for and not received? Um, she said, make sure that you aren't waiting for a painting, she said, because it happened to her once. She ordered something, paid for it, was receiving tracking information for it and everything, and all she received was a little towel. Uh, she was waiting for a vacuum cleaner, um, and she had to reach out to PayPal to get a refund. So check that you're not expecting something else that hasn't turned up. And that's turned up in its place. I can imagine getting a towel instead of a vacuum cleaner is not, not what you want, really. Uh, Jennifer, she says her eight-year-old corgi uh, does the classic corgi tap dance when she's preferring her meals. Uh, but she knows she has to be sitting in order to actually get the food. So she'll do a crazy, a two minutes of crazy tip tapping uh, before finally sitting down. She's been doing it since she was a puppy, she said, and those short little corgi legs never fail to amuse her. Yeah, Luna knows she needs to sit down as well. Uh, I think the excitement just overwhelms her for a little bit. Uh, but if you just stand still, she soon realises what she's supposed to do and then sits down before she gets her food. But it's cute. Uh, Jennifer says she's also a prolific, prolific chewer. And one of the best things she ever did was, in, oh, excuse me, was invest in a bag of fibre fill, a sturdy tapestry needle, and a bag of replacement squeakers from Amazon. She says the chew resistant toys last a long time, but a persistent chewer uh, will do them in. She says, luckily they repair very easily. Ah, we do have a couple that are doing really well. Um, her snake seems to still be doing well. It gives, it allows her to chew, but she can't completely trash it. Um, and there's a couple that that do pretty well, but she's not as interested because they don't have small parts that she can try and pull off with her teeth. Uh, Diamond Sparkle Chase, she says, another flower um, for your amazing AB's work. Uh, she enjoys her, what, the waffles. Uh, she's still waiting on her paint gem. She says she can't wait to get them. She says, thank you for the discount code and have a wonderful day. You are so welcome. Anybody that does want the discount code for Paint Gem, if you want to treat yourself to some, but get a little bit of money off, that is in the description down below. It's also 
on our website admorzest.com under links and codes and we will bob there any sort of decent discount codes or long-term discount codes that we have for any particular company we will pop them on there so that you guys can save a little bit more if possible because that's always good is it not uh sierra she says she's done a little quote so she says mrs rebecca saying i don't think i have any updates and sierra with a laughy face <laughs> Sometimes when I do film a, a whip and chat one day after another or, or one after another because I've, I've got plans on another day, I don't tend to feel as though I have as many updates. But then once I start waffling, often something just pops into my head. Uh, Sierra says she's finally got herself caught up. Uh, she thinks she went through the in entire series up to date she said minus the first couple she said the rest of them in two afternoons she said it's always nice to hear you talk and answer questions while working she says glad things are going well all the best for you and your family she said she's also got a birthday on Saturday and their ninth anniversary was on the second. She says a giant happy birthday to your son from us. Uh, can't wait to hear about the party and how your getaway goes. Thank you. Well you've got half of it this time with the getaway and then my son's birthday is next week. So we are planning on having a sort of birthday barbecue party at our house, which is what he chose. Uh, it was either sort of a party, barbecue party at our house or a meal out with the extended family. Um, and he chose the barbecue party. So we are doing that next week. Which reminds me, I will need to make sure that I prepare videos ready for that as well, because I'm sure that will be a busy, busy day. Busy but fun day. Hopefully the weather will play the game. Uh, craft therapy with Amanda. She says she thinks we will all have spare diamonds that end up on our leg or our arm or on our foot uh, she said they end up in really odd places uh, but she says she loves my outlook on life <laughs> thank you so sweet um zoe says she loves the flower set of paintings and hopes we have a great anniversary which we did thank you uh, Alice says, will you do a kitting up with the Tic Tac containers? Uh, she says she's loving the Whip and Waffles and she said, also said, will you do another mystery diamond painting? Um, so Tic Tac containers, possibly not. I actually don't know if I have any still. I know I have unboxed some. Uh, though I'm pretty sure that I have popped those into giveaways um, due to, you know, storage space, space for storage can be limiting. So I do tend to keep the containers I favour and TikTok, 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 TikTok containers don't really... Um, tick all the boxes I need for storage. I know they do for some people. Um, and if I if I find that I do get them in the future, I may give them a go for one painting, but I can't see them being a long-term storage that I use time and time again. Uh, just because popping the diamonds in them and stuff isn't 
to me it's not quite as easy they don't hold quite as much <coughs> and um, you'd have to sort of pull the whole top off to really use them to tip out the diamonds but I know they do appeal to many people so if I get some in the future I might try and give them you know a bit more of a go and kit up a painting with them uh, for the mystery painting I do have one in my stash from Kudios, I think it was when I get round to kitting up a 30 by 40 I will let the decision wheel decide so that may well come up in the future depending on how quickly it gets picked uh, Michelle she says she's catching up on some videos and it is perked up when I said Sputnik uh, she said a piece of the Sputnik satellite landed on the street in her hometown in Wisconsin, Wisconsin. and every year uh, they have a festival uh, have a festival called Sputnik Fest. Uh, people come dressed in their favorite space gear and even some aliens. Awesome that's one way to keep up with some event that was unexpected and just happened, create a festival. Why not? Oh look, two diamond shorts. Let me see if I can just get them to come out of the pot because that will be easier. There we go. Right, last bit of pink and then I just have the center. Uh, Talia, she said, oh my goodness, she said the same thing happened to her with her paint gem. She ordered the dog sets and the Zodiac. She said after a while she got an email saying that they'd sent her the love set by accident, uh, gave her a $40 voucher to be able to rebuy the dog set so that it could go through to make shipping worth it to Australia. She got the flower set as well. I love the fact that you use that as an excuse to buy another set. Why not? Uh, I guess they've had some sort of mini issue um, in their warehouse, whether they were labelled up wrong or whether somebody got confused with what, what kit was labelled as what. Um, but at least they've realised and it definitely sounds like they have fixed it in the right way um, to make sure that customers get what they order. So that's always good to hear because things can go wrong. It always happens um, It's if it's fixed. If it's a reasonable request, of course, believe me, there are very... <laughs> There are a min minority of people who have unreasonable requests and expectations for things that have not been promised. Um, but for those genuine customers who do not have unreasonable expectations on things, um, yeah, you can, you can definitely tell when a company has made a mistake, owns up to it and looks to put it right. Uh, jo, she says, thank you for another great waffle, Rebecca. She says she finished her section early today, so she just continued to listen to the video while playing a mobile game. She says she loves hearing stories about Luna and comments from others about their dogs. It shows how all of our dogs are different. She says her Snickers in ignores most of the dog toys uh, that we bought her and she prefers playing with empty plastic bottles and ripping paper towels to shreds. Well, if she likes empty plastic bottles, as I mentioned earlier, Joe, the Innocent Smoothie bottles um, or I think some of ours may have just been the Tesco smoothie bottles. They seem to be a bit thicker. 
um, and Luna really enjoys playing with them. Um, she really enjoys trying to get one that you may be drinking out of as well, uh, but if it's given to her at the end, she's really happy. Uh, she said the only dog toy that she plays with is her stuffed dino with a squeaker inside, which she got when she was a puppy. Uh, she's also claimed her brother's stuffed dog as her own. Uh, Luna's, actually, Luna's dinosaur is one that is still going. She does have a stuffed dinosaur. Um, she tends to just chew his tail a little bit when she's going to sleep, but apart from that, um, he tends to get treated a little bit kinder than the rest of her toys. Uh, Jackie says she googled images for frilly tulips, and apparently they're called parrot tulips. So there we go. Maybe... The tulip picture was a picture of parrot tulips, and that's why it looked more frilly. You never know where the inspiration may have sprung from. Uh, Jackie also says she loves the Zesty Wolf coloured pen. Thank you. Uh, okay, let me get my next colour. Don't need as many of these. Try to do a few less. Uh, the cat lady, she says she's working on her square June painting today. She says she's been working on one in rounds and one in squares. More because the round, although very colourful, wasn't what she wanted. So she's doing a kitten in square too. Uh, she said it's her middle finger that's the problem as the pen rests on that and she grips the pen with her pointy finger. She's trying to just hold it lighter, she says, and then that allows her to put the drills down lighter too. She says, hope you enjoy your time away for your anniversary. Um, Lady Dax has replied and said she had the same problem with one pen that she used. She had some rubber thimble in her craft stuff, so she cut the tip off one and slipped it over her finger. Um, and that helped. Oh, there's a conversation going on. I love conversations in the comments. Um, let me just get my next colour. Uh, so the cat lady has replied to Lady Dat's suggestion. Oh, uh, camera cut off mid, mid conversation then, rude. Um, the cat lady unfortunately is latex sensitive, so she can't actually use that, but she does have some padded plasters that she can use on her fingers. Um, but she's also, she's also taking when her hand hurts at the moment as a reminder to take a break because she does sit at her desk too long sometimes. Well, I'm glad you have found a way to work around it, or being not, you know, it's not stopping the pain from going away, but taking it as a reminder to move is possibly a good thing. Um, it's just whether you are then able to get back to it as soon as you may want to, uh, depending on how easy or how long it takes for the pain to subside. Right, I'm just, I'm dipping in to my pot while I've only got a few for this one. Uh, Sarah Jane, uh, she says she needs to buy a macaroon, she says, as they are so cute. Uh, those little macaroons are cute. Um, if you get any of the Paint Gem mini sets, they tend to come with the macaroon. So if you've got a mini set or you plan on treating yourself to a mini set, wait for that to arrive and you'll have yourself your very own macaroon. Uh, Sarah Jane also says she says a, a great waffle and some helpful tips. So thank you. You are welcome. Oh. There we go. 
if I couldn't get hold of that last diamond then. But my peony is done. I'm happy with the AB placement in that one. I think it helps to highlight the edges of the flower if I try and move it around just in case the light shows up different. We have got a little bud but it's not in your face um, and the white is on the main part of the flower. There we go, 21st of June is done. We are in the last third uh, but we still have many more days to go so we will keep enjoying it until the end of June but thank you all so much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again tomorrow.